Well, here we are again. We're now at a place called Het Steenenhoofd, the Stone Head or Stony Head. Uh, that was a firework. Yes, it is uh, 31st of December, which means people are blowing stuff up, fireworks. Anyway, here we are at Stony, uh, Stony Head, and I'm sure people wonder why is it called the Stony Head. Well, I did a little bit of research and found out that um, not so long ago, uh, last century, 20th century, just after the Second World War, a block-headed giant who is represented by the face that you see on the stone in front of you was really stubborn and came to a very watery end at this spot. Um, and in memory of that uh, titanic battle, they named this place the Stony Head. Now, I can understand some people are saying this sounds like rubbish. It's possible, you can think that. And one of the points of the Amsterdamica vlog is that you don't have to believe anything I'm saying. My words may be fake um, in your mind. As far as I'm concerned, everything I say is absolutely true. This information about the giant I got from a source, I can't uh, mention who they are. I can't reveal where they're from or why they told me or how much I paid to get this information. But this is the truth about um, the Stony Head. Now, the Stony Head is also known as dog people's territory. Right now, it's incredibly quiet. Usually what you see as I'm panning around, you usually see people sort of playing with their dogs. I think you get a, a, a dog group, a, a, little, a couple of dog people over there. But this is full of dogs and it also means walking around here is a bit of a minefield because there is an awful lot of doggy do. So you, you need to be careful. That's why I'm generally being quite static and just swirling around. Now what we're gonna do is uh, scan over to the left and here we have some buildings yes those are buildings the building you see with a pointy bit on top used to be my not really my favorite building but it, i liked it a lot uh, many many years ago it was a bit of a ruin and there was something gloomy about this place as if something magical happened there in the meantime uh, it has changed modernized uh, yuppified call it what you will and people live here most people are happy about it uh, cities do change but um, at least they left the stony head as is for now. I think the pressure to build something huge and exclusive here is great, so we'll see what happens. What else can I say? Um, I can say it's gray. Of course, it's December, which means the chances of having great sunny weather in Amsterdam are limited. It does happen from time to time. There have been New Year's Eves with glorious weather but not this one, so we just have to make do with what we have here. Now I'm gonna move over to the right and try and be as calm and gentle as possible, because apparently uh, moving with stabilizers is, is a fine art, and there's some people who are really good at it. They can move around and everything stays super still. But in my case, as a novice, as a beginner, as somebody who barely knows what they're doing, I'm um, trying to walk with care and, as I said, avoid the dog emissions on the ground. In front of you, or in front of me, or in front of whatever, you can see Central Station in the background. You can see a boat coming along the water. Well, it is water, so boats tend to go along rivers. It's, uh, you, uh, they go to the, they, they, they carry cars and containers and all kinds of stuff. Actually, on the issue of stuff and boats, I believe boats are an essential, an essential ingredient in the business of moving stuff from one place to another. Without boats, it would just be harder. You'd have to use trucks. We do use trucks, but boats help a lot. Um, oh yeah, over there, that sort of brownish block thingy is, belongs to Shell. So people go there and plan stuff about drilling into the earth and getting goodies out of it, which can be used for other things to make more goodies and make more stuff which goes onto a ship or plane and the stuff is moved around. Aha, yes. Um, in the distance, in the distance slightly to the left of center, you see the Adam Tower. We're gonna go there later on, well, not today, of course, but later on in this vlog. And you can see the swings which are on the other side so people can swing from the, you see the crown on top of that building. On the other side, there are these two swings, and you sit there and you swing back and forth. And I believe I counted 
I think you get 25 back and forths um, until it stops. So I don't know what you pay for it, but you pay to go up there, then you go on the blah, 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 and you swing around and you feel quite elated. Swinging above a city is something most people would like to do. Even though when you're on one of the ferries, you see them there in the distance, those blue and white boats, I often hear tourists say, oh, I would never do that. But the look in their eyes says something else. They would actually want to do it, but by saying they would never do it, they're sort of covered for the fact that people with them may not want to go up and swing. Now, um, what I've just said is an example of the freestyle conversation, shall we? <laughs> Sounds so pretentious. The freestyle conversation that Amsterdam is going to attempt. Um, I'm still on the ums, and I, I believe I said it will take me at least 10 to reduce the um factor. So bear with me on that. Another thing to bear with me is there may be sort of heavy breathing, my inhalations. I've been playing around with the microphone to try and get it um, the way it should be. But you do get a lot of breathing, so I'm not ill. I'm not, um, I don't have devious thoughts. It's just the sound of another human being being a human being. So, standing here at the stone head, we're going to swing around and look at this gloriously grey day. You see some cars over there, you see some buildings. I'm actually here alone. Maybe people are worried. <laughs> you see somebody standing with, uh, talking to himself with a, a little phone camera, and it may look a bit odd. Uh, down there, do you see that? Down there's a lady doing something, standing by the water's edge, probably standing in the water. So she must have Wellington boots on, and I imagine her dog is swimming. In the summer, a lot of dogs swim in that water. In the winter, I think only the diehard dogs do that. So, now, um, see, there's another um. Uh, maybe we should have an um count <laughs> at the end of every video. I say, okay, the um count is 43, or the um count is three ums a minute, or whatever it may be. But the fact is, this is Head Stain and Hove. What we're looking at, actually, that, oh, this is a nice thing. What you're looking at that you, I, I may find, uh, add a pointer to the video, I'm not sure. But across the water, you see this red buoy, and on the other side of the red buoy is a favorite spot. Two tiny people, you see them walking from right to left, and they're going to this spot, uh, I Promenade is what it's called. And that's one of the greatest spots to sit and hang out if you live in the center of the city, as I do. And the center of the city, the center of Amsterdam, is very compact, so there's not much space. You don't, you don't live in a house where you look out of the window and see uh, two, three hundred meters in front of you. No, you, you see a few meters and then you see your neighbor. So that's how it is there. Um, oh, another um, I must do something about the ums. Please help me, give me advice, tell me how do you, how do you reduce ums, because I'm not gonna edit them out. They're going to go naturally, in, in a very organic way, they'll disappear. What I'm, um, um, what I'm saying, um, 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 see there are a lot of ums. Maybe, oh, maybe I can do an um where I just um all the time and maybe get the ums out of my system. Enough of the ums. This is, I, I'm going to do one of these things later. Apparently, if you vlog, <laughs> I heard every so often you have to do this emotional one where you talk about how how you've suffered emotionally and uh, climbed out of it, or maybe you're still in some in emotional swamp, and you can share it with your viewers. So I don't really have... Uh, sure, I've been, we've all been in our swamps, but I don't have much swampy stuff to say. Well, so on that wonderful note, on that completely um, non-spectacular note, I'm going to swing around once more, just one final swing around this place. And then I'm going to say goodbye and possibly see you again in the next year. I mean, you're going to see all of this in the next year, which is tomorrow. But I'm not going to edit this or do anything until probably the day after tomorrow. And that's when you're going to see it. So from here, the stony head. Think of the block-headed giant who was so stubborn. He came to a watery end at this place that we're now swinging back to show. You can just about make out the giant's head over there. So from this wonderful place, I'm going to say goodbye for now, Happy New Year, sort of in the past or in the future, whatever, and talk to you again soon. Bye.